Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to another Friday episode of Crochet with Granny. Um, or Crochet Granny, however you want to say it. Um, I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. Last video was last Thursday. This is another Friday. Um, I hope everybody's doing good and staying healthy. Um, today I have a few finished projects. Uh, a couple projects I'm still working on. And then we have... One, two, three... Six or seven packages to open from Joanne's premiere. Um, we got a few more um, Deal Genius ones. But anyway, we have lots of stuff, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I just finished this today. It's a bag of day pattern. It's pattern number 237, and it's for the chicken pot holder. Uh, it's cute. Don't get me wrong, but I probably won't make another one because I don't really put a lot of decoration type stuff up and this is too thin to be a uh, actual pot holder. I guess if you made a second one in just this cream color or the main color and you put some infusion stuff, uh, I don't know if I have any. I know I did, I just don't know where it is. If you put some infusion stuff between them and sew them together, you might be able to use it. But um, this is made with that uh, sugar and cream cotton, so it's kind of really thin. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it's really thin, so it would not be... I personally would not use this for that purpose. But it is really cute for decoration. I'm just not a huge person on hanging stuff up. Okay, so that was what I finished actually today. Um, this is a dress I finished yesterday. Um, this is also a bag of day crochet pattern and it's pattern 395 um, this was the little prairie pattern I believe I didn't do it exactly like she said because I didn't make my length I think I cut it off like two lengths ahead and just finished it because I thought it was pretty long but I made it with uh, red hearts with love fruit punch um, so it's a four weight yarn and then on the back if you can see it, there's a little red button. So I thought it turned out really cute. Um, everybody that's seen it really liked it. So I, I, I'm really proud of it. I love her dress patterns for babies. I don't know if you guys have ever made anything. If you have, wonderful. If not, try it. Her patterns are so easy to follow for everything. I mean, right now I'm making one of her bags, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and it, the pattern is just really easy to follow and she's so easy to follow and understand. I have had patterns where I'm like, okay, I'm never going to get this done. But with her, I usually breeze right through it. Um, the next thing I made, I call these the spring earrings. And this is my pattern. Um, if you're interested in learning how to make these, let me know below and I can do a little tutorial on it. They're really quick and easy. Uh, it didn't take me that long at all to make them. Um, but it's made with a very fine, I'd say one or two acrylic yarn. And then it's made in a circle with like little ridges. I thought they were really, really cute. I mean, yeah, they're big. And then I put like little silver hish fish hooks, but you can use whatever kind of things you want. I personally cannot wear earrings because I'm allergic to pretty much everything out there. But I, I've got these listed on eBay if you're interested. Or if you want to learn the pattern, I can try to do a tutorial for you guys. Okay, so there's that. Those are the three things I have finished. Um, right now I am working on um, her summer star stitch bag or stitch star stitch bag for summer. Um, I don't remember the pattern number. Um, so I'm, I'm using my phone so I can't look it up. But I'm working on that now. I just started on that this morning after I was done with the chicken pot holder. And I'm also still working on my uh, youngest daughter's corner to corner blanket. Um, if you guys have never done corner to corner blanket, I love it. The only thing I can say I don't care about is the bobbing. Um, and that's just because sometimes they get tangled up if you leave them too. But anyway, um, with that pattern, once I finally get it finished, I will show you guys the blanket. I'll stand back so you guys can see it. And then I will actually have a free pattern 
the written pattern and the diagram pattern because some people like to follow the diagram some people like the written I have both so I will just post that um, on our Facebook page um, if you don't have our Facebook page um, there should be a link right above that says Facebook click on that join our page we'd love to have you um, if you are not a subscriber to the channel, we would love for you to subscribe to us. Um, if you like these videos, let us know by clicking them. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do, um, every week I do finished projects, projects I'm working on, and then if I receive any yarn in the mail, I let you guys see what I got. I don't always know the prices. If the prices are in the bags, then I'll know them. But I'm really busy, so I don't have time to go back and look at all the prices. But I will give you an estimate of what I thought. I always buy yarn when it's on sale. I never pay full price unless it, unless I like run out of a yarn and I'm still using that yarn for a project. And then I will. I don't like to, but I will. Um, so this first one I'm opening up is from Spinrite, which would be uh, Yarn Inspirations. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember what they are. Oh yes. Okay. These are cute. I gotta share these. Uh, I'm gonna see really quick. Yep, they got a paper in here. But of course there's no picture or page prices. Okay, I wanna say these were like two and a half dollars a piece, but I could be wrong. They had them on sale here a while back. Um, this one is, let's see. Eh, sorry guys. Um, this one is the Grapesicle. Oh, I remember what it was. These were on the clearance section of Your Inspirations. And then they had 80% um, off clearance or 60% off clearance. I don't remember. But these were like really cheap. They were only like $2 a piece or a dollar something a piece. Um, they don't have them anymore. That sale's pretty much done. And I think they pretty much sold out of everything. Um, these are the Chunky Cupcakes. It is a five bulky weight yarn. Um, it's a hundred percent acrylic. The pom pom on the top is usable too. That's eighty five percent acrylic and fifteen percent polyester. I have never used these pom poms, so I'm excited to actually use them. I do have some, but I don't have any like purple. Most of the pom poms I have are like brown, white, and tan. There might be some blacks, but I don't remember. Um, this is a three point five ounce uh, skein. And there's 138 uh, yards per skein. But this one, I think I said it's grapesicle. And I bought, uh, let me see. I bought two of these. So I got two of these. Yep, there's the other one. I think that, oh, the wrapper's coming off. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Um, That's okay, though. I think this one's grape circle. Yep. So we got two of those. And then this one. Wrappers off again on this one. See? <laughs> oh, well. I guess it happens. Um, this one is Jam Session. It's the same exact yarn, so I'm not going to go back through. And um, I guess I could show you guys. Well, since the wrapper's off, I'll show you. Um it's got like green and white and then the purple and the pink. It's really pretty though. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in colors. Here, let me see if I can make a little bit brighter. Eh, kind of helped a little, didn't it? Okay. And then this one is more like a... I got this because it's kind of like 4th of July and I thought this would be really cute for a dress. Um, I think I bought enough for a dress. Most of her patterns, well, no, this is a size five, so this would have to be for that little, uh, I'll show you. It's later on. I'll have it. I have the pattern that I'm going to be working on. Anyway, this is a five weight yarn, and this one is like the blues, and I bought, uh, I bought two of those, and then the next one. Sorry. I'll take that one out so we don't have to go back over it. And then this one must be the Kiwi because I have two of these. Um, 
this is really pretty. I love greens and blues. And isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if you guys can see it. But this one here is the Kiwi, uh, Blueberry Kiwi. Um, it's also, this one's a four weight yarn. Um, I didn't even pay attention to that. I think the other one was a five weight though. Let's see. Yep, that one's a five weight. Okay, this one is the Karen Cakes. So this one's not the same as the little uh, buttons. I don't remember how much this was. I think they were two and a half dollars a piece when they were on sale, but I could be wrong. This is a four weight yarn. It's 7.1 ounce uh, skein and there's 383 yards per skein. Um, it is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, hand wash lay flat. I don't normally buy this kind of yarn because I'm big about blank making blankets and things like that. But um, I usually like the where you wash it and dry it. So I'll figure out what I'm going to make with that. Apparently I got excited about the price and didn't pay attention to that. But that's okay. We'll figure out something for it. Um, this one also is a four weight yarn. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. This is also one of the Karen Cakes and that is the colors of it. Um, the color on this one is Spice Cake. I only bought one of these. So that, and this is also 383 yards. So that was that order. Okay, our next order is from Michaels. Um, if you remember last week, I told you guys I ordered from Michaels and I thought they split the order in half. Well, they did. Um, this is the other half of that order. It actually came later that day on Thursday. Okay, these are adorable. I have never bought these before, but I seen them and I think they were only like $2 a piece. They were cheap compared to what they normally cost. Um, I did buy, let's see, is there a, I don't see a container or a slip in here, shipping slip, but I just fell in love with these and I already have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to make with them. But here, hold on one second. Let me move this out of the way. These are the little toppers. Aren't they so cute? Look at that. The little sheep on top. Oh, I just think they're adorable. They're 100% acrylic. Um, it says hand wash. They're hand wash only. Sorry. Hand wash, no dry. Lay flat to dry, I guess. It doesn't say. Or if it does, I don't see it. But they're made from DMC and they're little toppers. And they're for little hats. So, I don't know if I'll make little hats out of it. I might make some hats out of them. They're cute though, aren't they? These might even have been a dollar each. But the yarn is 100% acrylic and the little character is 100% polyester. There is, oh, where is it? Um, 114 yards per ball. And I got two, four, five of these. So I got five of these and they're the color, whoa, I'll look at this one. <laughs> um... These are in the color. I can't find the color. I can't find the color on them. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know where it is. Anyway, they're like a yellow and blue, or yellow, pink, and white. So they're really cute. So I might make little hats out of those. Okay, the next package is from... Been right but this actually was purchased let me look at it first yes this was actually purchased off of ebay um that blanket i'm making my daughter i thought maybe i might need more blue so i ordered these off of somebody on ebay and it turns out it's actually your inspiration um i guess they have some of their yarn on ebay anyway um it's the pop uh burnet pop blue chambra and these are I know they're a four weight, yeah, they're four weight, uh, machine wash and dry, and they're 100% acrylic. 
But I actually got two of these because I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough. And the way they had their order on eBay, I had to buy two. I believe is what it was. Okay, the next package came from Joann's. This actually just came yesterday. And I'll be honest, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> it's been a while since I ordered it. Oh, okay, yeah, I do. This is the Scrubby Yarn. Um, this is in the color Watermelon. And then, oh, there's a receipt. Cool beans. Nope, no prices. I got the Scrubby Yarns. This was in blueberry and this one is in watermelon they're both four weight i'm gonna make some scrubbies that'd be one of the next projects that you guys would get to see um these are 100 percent polyester they're machine wash and dry safe and there is 174 yards per skein and i got one pink and one so one watermelon and one blueberry so I got that for that order. Oh, this order's got a lot of cotton in it. I've been make, wanting to get some more cotton to make more stuff. Um, this one is Cafe a Latte, and I know I probably pronounced that wrong. It is 100% cotton. All the rest of these are going to be the 24-7 cotton. If you guys have never worked with it, it's by Lion Brand, and I love it. It is a four-weight cotton, and there's 186 uh, yards per skein. Um, so that one's like a coffee color. This one is uh, a rose. So that one's rose. It's like a pinkish color. I don't think it shows that much. Um, this one is jade. So it's kind of like a greenish color. I got, looks like I got two of those. I got two of the, um, cappuccino colors. And then this one is aqua and I got two of those. Um, like I said, I don't remember the price on these. Joann's had them on sale either last week or the week before last. Um, I want to say they were like $2.49 or something like that a piece, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, we're going to do this one next. We'll save the box for last. This one is from Deal Genius. If you have not ordered from Deal Genius, you really need to check them out. Um, they, they got really, really great prices. Uh, the... Uh, to get free shipping, you only have to get to like $29 or $30, so it, it's really, really great. Um, they have wonderful yarn. They sell a lot of yarns in three packs, and so it makes it really cheap. Uh, that is actually where I got the yarn for that dress I just showed you guys. Um, I think I got three skeins for $7 for that Red Heart, so that was really good because that Red Heart uh, with Love is like three-something at my Walmart, so I was quite excited about that. All right, so the first item in here, and we might actually have a packing slip. Hold on one second. Nope, well we do, but it doesn't tell you the prices. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this Dreamweaver yarn, which is like a scrubby, scrubby yarn, that's actually what I bought it for, is to make those scrubbies, because I use those scrubbies all the time in my kitchen, and I'm just, I'm just excited to use them anyway. These were two packs. Um, you got four of them. And I believe the price on these um, for four was $7. You got, I think that's what it was. So, you know what? They did not send me. I'm positive you got four of those in a pack for $7. But I could be wrong. But they only sent me three six pack or two pack. I'm sorry. Three, two packs. These are the Dreamweaver, and they're in the color. You know what? It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't see. It's 100% acrylic. There's 92 yards per skein, which is 3.5 ounces, and it's like a royal blue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it comes in like little two packs, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be two of these for the seven or eight dollars, but I only see four. It's two, three of the, three of those packs right now. Oh, nope, there's another one in here. So yeah, it is, um, you get two of these, which is two skeins per pack, and you get two of these, and I believe it was $7 for them, but I end up buying two of them. And then the other one I got, it's also Dreamweaver. Um, I do not see a color on this one as well. 
but this is also 100% acrylic. It's a 3.5 ounce skein and there's only 20 yards. But this is like, um, here, like this one here, I'm going to see if I can get a, it's a very lightweight yarn. I think it was only like listed as like a one or two. Um, I think that's what it was. You can look on their website and there still should be some there. I don't remember what colors they have left, but this is kind of like a ribbon, not ribbing, um, um, I can't think of the name of it kind of lacy type yarn and I bought two of these or one pack of these so one pack you got four of them and I believe it was seven dollars um, the next one I got this was a three pack and this is how it comes it actually comes packed like this this is the red heart with love yarn um, this is an echo so this is the same yarn I used on that dress except this one is an echo instead of the fruit punch you get three of these for $7. So that is a really good deal because one of these skeins is like $3 and something since at Walmart. Or at least it is at my Walmart. But it is a four weight yarn. It is machine wash and dry. It is 100% acrylic. And each skein has uh, 180 yards. So it's a 4.5 ounce skein. So that to me is a really good deal. It makes it like two something a skein. Um, the other thing I got was some more of that camo um, Karen Simply Soft. And I believe I got it in, yeah, I got it in the same one, the Renegade, the green one. It's a medium weight four. Um, there's 204 ske yards per skein. Um, and it is 100% acrylic, machine wash, and dry. So I did get a couple of these packs last time. And here's another set of them. Because I really like that yarn. Okay, the last box I have, I believe, yes, came from Premier. Now, I have never ordered from Premier. Or if I have, I don't remember doing it. I do not know the cost unless it's actually in here. I'm not sure if they include the price or not. Excuse my screwdriver. I told you guys we got a lot today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm excited. I forgot I ordered these. Okay. Do they order? They Oh, they do. They include the price. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, these were $2 a piece. And this is the dr dish, scrub, dish Scrub Yarn. And it's a bag of three. Okay. They were $2 a piece, which I thought was really good. That makes it under a dollar a skein. So I'm going to go ahead and go through it with you guys. All right. This is the wash Washi. And it is a four weight yarn. Um, they're 92 yards per skein. And let me see. Of course, it's wash machine because it is a scrubby. So it's used to like do dishes and stuff like that. But this one is in the color of, well, let's see, color orange. So this one is orange, and I got three of those because you got three packs for $2. That's a really good price. This was in like a, or this one's a Premier Yarn Warshi. Um, same thing, 92, four weight. And this one is in the color of orange white. So it's the orange and white mix. And then this one is black. This one is red, I believe. Yep, red. Can you get CDs? I'm sorry. I'm horrible, I know. <laughs> um, but I thought this was a really good deal. This is like a pink color. Let me see exactly what the color is. This is Pink slash rose. So that's really pretty. I like that one. And then the other one is blue. It's like a royal blue or let me see. Yep. Royal blue. Oh, I called that one. Um, but these were only $2 a pack. So I thought that was an amazing deal on these. Um, that is my yarn haul for the week. Um, I do have more coming. So check me out later. Um... We have some Premier Yarn coming. I have some stuff from, uh, I believe, Amazon, or maybe not. 
Maybe it wasn't Amazon. I know Walmart. I have a cotton order coming from Walmart. Like I said, I've got a lot of acrylic yarn, so I'm trying to build up my scrubby yarns, my cottons. When I can get the stuff cheap, that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys all coming and visit me today. I really hope you guys like and share this video. And I also hope you guys um, start, or I hope you guys all subscribe to the channel because I would love to have you guys a part of my family. Um, you guys are all a part of my family anyway. You don't have to subscribe, but I really would appreciate it. Anyway, I know this video is a little lengthy, but I mean, we had a big yard, yarn haul. Um, if you guys have any patterns for this wash, this, um, this lay flat, wash and lay flat by hand yarn, um, that you guys want to share with me, I would love to see it. Um, I really haven't made a whole lot of stuff with yarn that you gotta wash by hand. So if you guys know of any, let me know. Um, I am going to start something new. I am going to ask you a question at the end of every single video. The question is, what is the fa most favorite project you have ever made? My answer is, two years ago, I made me a blanket. It was a corner to corner. It was a continuous blanket. I made the pattern, or I did the whole thing myself. It wasn't a pattern I followed. And it was in the Karen's, um, Karen's acrylic. I can't remember the name of it now. But I love that blanket. I use it all the time. Um, I love the CDC style blankets because to me they're just so much more tighter. And I don't know if that was proper grammar, but um, they were, it's just such a tight stitch. So it's perfect, in my opinion, for blankets. So that is my favorite thing that I've ever made. Um, so let me know back down below what your favorite item has been. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful week, and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.